the concern is that it's going. All right. The concern is that it's going to be stacked with folks that want to uh, roll back Social Security and uh, Medicare. That there won't be other means of uh, you know getting our fiscal house into order. Why should it progressives be concerned about that? <clears throat> Actually, I think progressives should be the first ones to be for this because what it's designed to do is deal with not only Social Security and Medicare but the revenue side of the equation so that we can extend the solvency of Medicare and Social Security and prevent their demise. The worst thing that could happen for progressives around the country is that we let Social Security and Medicare go insolvent. So it would seem to me that those of us who are progressive, that believe in those programs, that believe in helping the people that are assisted by them, have a special obligation to preserve them. I think people see the risk of those programs uh, being reduced or you know, not helping as many people as being greater if we have this commission, again, because of the contents of its composition, the people that would be appointed to it. Uh, they, well, but, they're more but, likely but, but, to cut the programs yeah. than they are to work on that revenue side. I don't know why anybody would reach that conclusion, because the people who would be deciding the members are this administration. They would decide their representatives. They would be the Democratic leaders of Congress, who are the traditional allies of those programs. Uh, so it's curious to me that people would think, for some reason, the makeup of this wouldn't be people who want to preserve Social Security and Medicare. And here's the, here's the basic fact people have to ask themselves. We know that Social Security and Medicare are cash negative today. We know that Medicare is headed towards insolvency in eight years according to its own trustees. So the idea of doing nothing is not much of an option for those of us who want to save them.